These are computer books, and it's a two-volume set, biggest only two-volume set done in uh, For Dummies Dumb, which is the C for Dummies, Volume 1 and Volume 2, 1993, 1996, because it took a while. I really enjoyed writing these books, especially adding the quizzes. Now, they don't call them quizzes anymore. Corporate America has decided that they're called assessments. And I had a lot of fun writing the quizzes at the end of each chapter. Just silly stuff. I had some fun. Take a look. The capital of Nepal is Kathmandu, Fondu, Hairdu, Doggy Do. This is a book on programming. The capital of Manitoba is Winnebago, Winnipeg, Whiny Pug, Sasquatch. They're not all geography questions. What is the biggest disadvantage to nude cooking? No place to wipe hands. Dad takes longer to carve the turkey. Hot grease splattering leads to new, though easily hidden scars. Meals at grandma's are less appealing. Cooking is a lot like programming. Saint Redundancy, the father of all modern programming, stands atop Mount Recursion and proclaims, a toy, a toy. Well, what is he saying? Give me something small and cheesy like I'd find in a Happy Meal. Ask you to integer, ask you to integer. I've had enough. I'm going back to Philadelphia to become an accountant. Oh, sweet joy, for I have tasted the earth, and it tastes like dirt. Declaring your variables is almost as important as flossing, looking under the hood for the cat on a cold morning, checking for toilet paper stuck to your shoe before you walk on stage to accept that humanitarian award, finding the perfect hat. This hat is from LinkedIn Learning, where they gave things to their partners when they cared. As happens so often, Captain Kirk suddenly finds himself facing an evil twin double. How can you tell which is which? The evil Captain Kirk is the strong one, and his shirt isn't torn. The evil Captain Kirk is mentally thwarted and breaks down sobbing. The evil Captain Kirk doesn't eat food and loathes Mr. Spock. The evil Captain Kirk wears eyeliner. Computer books are fueled by Star Trek and Monty Python. A commotion occurs in the kitchen of a Chinese restaurant. Understanding a bit of Chinese, you decide to tell your fellow diners the following. The cook lost the recipe for the antidote. The new guy thought that the automatic vegetable slicer was the garbage chute. A cook says the band-aid on his finger before he began making the chow mein is no longer there. They can't find their cat. Which of the following have not been pseudonyms for the Starship Enterprise in a Mad Magazine Star Trek parody? Booby Prize, Improvise, Yenta Prize, Compromise. This isn't even all the quizzes, and I'm not even halfway through the book, so I'll tell you what, more quizzes to come. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, assessments.